We're going to look today at an item that I have wanted for a good long while. In fact, as long as the Glock Tactical Light has been uh, was introduced, I have wanted one for my Glock. I'm a big Glock fan. I love Glock factory accessories because I know they stand behind their products just like they do their pistols. But that's not really what led me to really choosing the Glock Tac Light for my Model 17. And, and we're going to look at why and all the different features. One of the first things that I really like about the Glock Tac Light, and I'm going to, before we even get started with looking at the pistol, I, I want us to go ahead and open it up. I repackaged this because I really thought the packaging was pretty cool. This is the box that it comes in, has Glock right on the box itself, just like a mini pistol box. The light itself, it's so modular. I mean, it fits the gun perfectly. It was made to fit the Glock, and that's one of the things that I like about this light. A lot of times, uh, in fact, I've been looking at many different light systems for my pistols. And, you know, usually they're kind of bulky and they're sticking out, and this is just so modular. And that's the reason why I chose the Glock Tactical Light uh, right up front. Of course, the Glock quality really sealed the deal. So the other day I was talking to Joe at JVC Firearms and he had just gotten in an order of Glock Tactical Lights and I told him, I said, man, I've really been wanting one of those. So he sent it to me for evaluation and uh, so we're going to check this out and we're going to get all the features of the Glock Tactical Light. This is the GTL 10. Now they do make it with the GTL 11 which has a dimmer feature on it and then they have the GTL 22 and that has the laser. I just didn't choose the laser just because really what I wanted was the light and uh, this is the GTL 10. Now it uses the Xenon technology this is an incandescent bulb it's not the LED but that's what Glock is putting out it is a really nice light it does 60 lumens for 70 minutes uh, it uses two of the CR123's I already have them entered in here because I just uh, have been using it on my light but I wanted just for demonstration purposes. And we're going to look. I'm going to open up the battery and everything. Uh, it does come with an extra bulb. And then it does come with an instruction little brochure here. That is really uh, has a lot of information about the light. And a great schematic as well with all the different features. But with all of Glock's products, they always stand behind all of their products. And uh, in fact, this weekend there was a G17 that... Uh, malfunctioned and actually blew the extractor out and blew out the magazine release and it was really something else and it was really funny because the guy was like you know what I'm just sending it back to Glock they'll take care of it and that's what I like about Glock because there's a lot of confidence and they'll stand behind their products now the weight of the light is three ounces with the battery mounted so it's a very lightweight system in fact on the end of your pistol you don't even know it's on there uh, it's three inches by two inches, and then it's one and a quarter inches in width. And it really, again, it just molds to the gun, which we're going to really take more of a look at in just a minute. A lot of smooth edges. There's nothing. There's no tubular cylinder sticking out. There are no uh, rough mounts. It just fits, and it fits right. Okay, here is the battery compartment itself, and it does use the CR123s, one on the other. Uh, there is a diagram on the side of which way the batteries go in, so it makes it really easy. And it's on both sides. It's fully ambidextrous. Now, as you can see, there's a gasket that runs around this. And the reason this light is water-resistant up to 10 meters, or 33 feet. So, really, that's pretty incredible. You can get down deep with this flashlight uh, on your pistol. So it's going to be completely impervious to most of your weather conditions. Uh, anything that w the weather can dish out, this should be able to handle it. Now one thing that I found very interesting is that it talks about circuit technology in this light. And with LEDs, that's usually the case. But with incandescent, it's not so much. But this does have a circuit board, and I don't know if you can see it, down inside on the second contact. And what that does is it regulates the light and it keeps your battery life to a maximum. The batteries do go in very easily. And then your top, as you can see, the little teeth come in. And 
and then it snaps shut. Now the focus ring itself, it just turns and then it comes off. Very easy to change your bulb in and out. Of course you can see again it does have a gasket here. The reflector itself is highly reflective. I believe it's glass just looking from this side and then coated. But again it's a very reflective glass and it really shows up well out on the range. Now the focus ring itself does allow for a spotlight or you can broaden out the beam. I really like shooting it with the spotlight uh, but it does give you a wide field if you want to spread it out a little bit. Now before we add this to the weapon, let's safety check and as you can see the pistol is unloaded. Okay you have a nice direct beam and then you can broaden it out with your focus ring but I really like that hot spot right there. One thing that I do like though about it being Glock and being polymer is that it's polymer on my polymer frame. Now to attach the light to the pistol of course it's made for this mount so it goes right in and then clicks. Very smooth edges, the weight keeps the balance of the pistol. In fact if anything it gives you just a little added weight to the end of your muzzle and really helps with the accuracy. Here is your control switch off and on and really it's very unique you can put your finger right to it you can do a momentary or with the click it's constant on let's get that spotlight there's an intense beam here again it's 60 lumens not super bright with a lot of the LED technology but um, but still very adequate and I was shooting out to 10-15 yards and it was really well, the, the whole area was lit up very nicely. And then you can click it back off. So momentary or constant. Then of course if you're left handed or shooting weak hand, you've got the option of the ambidextrous controls here. Very light ridges that ride across, of course you have ridges that with the uh, focus ring so the things that need to have some texture you have, but again, very smooth, very easy. To remove the light, you have tabs on either side, so you can grab them and pull it right off. Now the mount does have the one bar to match perfectly with the one groove here on the pistol. Just a good solid click. You want to make sure you hear that click, but then once it's on, it is very secure onto your pistol. Of course the color of the housing itself matches the frame perfectly so it's just one solid uniform piece and just excellent. Of course the only real way to get accustomed to shooting in low light conditions is to shoot in low light conditions. So we're gonna check it out. Okay here's the target. This is about twilight. We're gonna bring in our Glock light this is about, I'd say about 12 yards. Of course you can adjust this to a broader beam, but you're gonna lose your spotlight. So personally, I would probably keep it on the spotlight setting. It does give you some flood around it as well. Now even in marginally low light settings, something can easily hide itself and conceal itself in a patch of woods or in any kind of terrain. So having a light, especially around twilight, really gives you an advantage. Of course these lights will fit on your standard Picatinny rail. They're not quite as secure as they would be on your Glock rail, but they will hold. There are a number of holster systems out there that will accommodate lights and uh, in fact I know that I was on the G-Code website and they make a holster specifically for pistols with lights mounted to them. In fact it even shows one example of the Glock tack light. 
So um, there are different companies that make it. Uh, so you can actually use this in a holster and be able to carry it uh, in many different ways. Now on the JVC Firearms website, they run $97.99. You do get a 10% discount using Such in the coupon code, which brings it down to about $88, bucks, just a little over. And uh, very well worth it. With the lasers, the price increases. But um, I think that you'll find for the Glock that the Glock Tac Light, and this is the GT10, is an excellent addition, especially for a home defense pistol or something that you're checking out those bumps in the night. Now again, I want to thank Joe at JVC Firearms, and uh, I know he has these in stock right now. So check out jvcfirearms.com, and a great site, a ton of different accessories, pistols, rifles, firearms, and a lot of tactical accessories as well. The Glock Tactical Light GTL-10, excellent Glock factory product. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Of course, to remove, of course, to remove the light, just pull these down. And then to remove the light, you can pull. You hear those geese? <laughs>